In my previous video, and using assembly, I programmed the peripheral serial interface SPI inside the ATmega328 to enable the serial communication between two Arduinos. In this video, assembly is used to program IC MAX7219 to enable the Arduino display data on 8-bit 7-segment display. The MAX7219 integrated circuit is an 8-digit common cathode 7-segment display driver which is fully programmable by a microcontroller. It is interfaced with a microcontroller using SPI connection. We can either use the IC coupled with 7-segment displays and interface them with the microcontroller or we could use a module such as the one seen here. In this video, we'll be using this module to interface with the microcontroller. You can watch my previous videos where I have used the MAX7219 integrated circuit and the MAX7219 module in different projects. The MAX7219 is interfaced with the Arduino using SPI connection, where the master out slave in is connected to data in of the IC and the serial clock is connected to the clock pin and the slave select is connected to the chip select of the IC and the MAX7219 can drive up to 8 digit 7 segment display. The MAX7219 is programmed by the Arduino by sending two bytes. First we send the command byte and then we send the data byte and these two bytes are sent over the data in pin of the MAX7219. The command bytes determines whether the data byte is a value to be displayed on the 7 segment display or it could be a control byte that will control the functionality of the IC. Before sending these two bytes Arduino sends a low pulse to the chip select pin in order to enable the MAX7219 and also the clock signal is sent along the clock line. On the command byte only the least significant nibble is relevant while the most significant nibble is logic don't care in, and is assumed zero. And based on the least significant nibble we get this truth table which determines which uh, digit of the display is enabled. This would be digit zero and this would be digit 7. As an example let's say we want to display 6 on digit 1 so the first byte is the command byte so we need to send 0 2 and then the second byte is the data byte which will be the value 6. The command byte is also used to set the functionalities of the MAX7219. We could set the intensity level of the display we have from 0 to 15, 16 levels. This is the command byte and this is the data value of the level. We could also set the scan limit which gives us the number of connected digits. 0 means one digit is connected, 7 means eight digits are connected. So here this is the command byte and here we have eight digits connected to the MAX7219. We could also turn on and off the device by sending this command byte. So here this is the command byte and the data value 1 means the device is on, 0 means the device is off. We could also send this command byte for display test which will turn on all of the 7 segment display. We could also set the decoding mode by sending this command byte which means that the data value we send, which is a decimal value, will be decoded automatically by the IC and displayed on the 7 segment screen. As an example, this command byte will set the decoding mode. The second data byte will determine whether each digit the decoding is enabled or disabled. 0 means disabled, 1 means enabled. Now let's say we want to display the value 6 on digit 1 here. So first the decoding should be enabled and then we enable the device or the digit itself and then we send the value 
and the value is automatically decoded by the MAC7219 and displayed as a decimal value on the 7 segment screen. If we want to control the on and off of each segment manually, then we need to turn off decoding. And let's say we want to sketch this capital C. We enable the digit and then we send this byte value which corresponds to the bits assigned to each segment. In this video, the MAC7219 module is interfaced with the Arduino Uno using SPI connection. And the Uno is programmed in assembly, so we have a count display from 00 to 99. A quick look at the codes used. We'll start with the INO file, which contains the C part of the program. And within the setup function, we are executing three functions. The first function will initialize the SPI and the MAC7219. The second function will display some text on the eight digit seven segment display. And the third function will display the counts from 00 to 99. And now we look at the assembly code within the S file. We start with this subroutine to initialize the SPI and the MAC7219. We first set the MOSI serial clock and SS pins of the Arduino as output. And then we program the SPI so that we have SPI as master and we determine the serial clock. Next we initialize the MAC7219. We start by setting the brightness level of the display. First we define the uh, command byte and then we define the data byte which give us intensity level 8. And then we send these two bytes to the MAC7219 by calling this subroutine. Inside subroutine some bytes we enable the MAC7219 and then we send the command byte and then we wait for the transmission to complete. Then we output the data byte and then wait for the transmission to complete. And then we disable the MAC7219 and return to the calling subroutine. Back inside the initialization subroutine, we set the decoding mode by defining the command byte. And then we define the decoding byte and you can see here that digits 0 and 1 the decoding is enabled so that we can display the count value and the rest of the digits the decoding is disabled so that we can display some text on it and then we call the send bytes subroutine to send these two bytes next we set the scan limit command this is the command byte and this is the data byte which indicates that we have eight digits connected to the max 7219 then we send these two bytes next we set the turn on and off command and this is the command byte and the data bytes indicate that the max 7219 is on and then we send these two bytes and then return to the calling function this subroutine displays the word count on the display and keep in mind that uh, digits 2 to 7, the decoding is disabled. On digit 7, we display the letter C. On digit 6, we display O. Digit 5, we display U. Digit 4, we display N. Digit 3, we display T. And digit 2, we display space and then we return to the calling function finally this subroutine will display the count from 00 to 99 this part of the code will display the count from 0 to 9 for the least significant digit and display it on digit 0 and this part of the code will display the count from 0 to 9 for the most significant digit and display it on digit 1. In a future video, an I2C device will be interfaced with the Arduino and programmed in assembly. Thank you for watching.